All right, today we're going to be talking about the polygon angle sum theorems. All right, so before we begin going over what these theorems are, we're going to talk a little bit about what polygons are. The official definition of what a polygon is, is it is a closed plane figure with at least three sides that are segments. So for example, this would be a polygon. This would not be a polygon because it is um, not enclosed. And this last one would not be a polygon because these two sides intersect and you cannot have uh, two sides that intersect in a polygon. All right. Um, also, there are just some different classifications of polygons. Um, there is an equilateral polygon, which means all the sides are congruent. There's an equal angular polygon, which means all the angles are congruent. And a regular polygon, which means all sides and all angles are congruent. So that it's both equal angular and equilateral. All right. So um, this is a good point to note right now. Um, if a polygon is a regular polygon, then all of the exterior angles are also congruent as well. All right. So. Um, when naming a polygon, you want to name it by its vertices. So, for example, A would be this vertice, and we would call it A, B, C, D, and E, or A, E, D, C, B. Okay? So, you do not want to jump around. You don't want to call this A, D, B, C, E, or A, D, C, B, E. Okay? You need to go in order around the polygon. All right. Um, there are also um, ways of classifying them by the different number of sides. Just many of these you know. So we have triangle, quadrilateral, pentagon, hexagon, heptagon, octagon, nonagon, decagon, dodgagon, dodgagon, and an ngon is just um, depending on how many. So after 12, it would just be a 13 sided polygon, a 14 sided polygon, so on and so forth. Okay, and we have um, one last way of classifying polygons. You can either classify them as convex or concave. So a convex polygon has all its vertices pointing out. So for example, like this. So everything is coming out, convex. Concave, on the other hand, has one or more of its vertices caving in. It's, uh, that's where you get the cave from. It's caving in on itself, for example, like this. All right, where you see these angles are going inside the, um, inside the polygon, so to speak. They're caving in on each other. All right. Now to get to the actual theorems. The first theorem we're going to be talking about is the polygon angle sum theorem. And this theorem states that the sum of the measures, the angles in a polygon, is n minus 2 times 180. All right, so for example, if I had um, to find the sum of the measure of the angles of a 15 gone. What I would do is I would plug that 15 in for n. So I would do 15 minus 2 times 180. And 15 minus 2 is 13. 13 times 180. which is 2,340. All right, so that means the sum of the measures of the angles of all the interior angles of a 15 gone equals 2,340. All right, to do another example, um, it says the sum of the measures of the angles of a given polygon is 720. How many sides does the polygon have? So here's where, gonna, where you're going to need to use some of your algebra skills. 
So we can use this formula by saying, all right, well, we want to find n. So we're going to write out our formula. n minus 2 times 180. And we're going to equal it to 720, because that is, in fact, the, um, the sum of all those angles. Okay? I'm then going to divide each side by 180. using our wonderful algebra skills. I can cross those out and I will have n minus 2 equal, all right, which equals 4. Add 2 to both sides. So n is going to equal All right, so how many sides does the polygon have? It has six. All right. All right, now, um, here's another um, example of how to use this theorem. I'm not going to go into it um, just for timing's sake, but if you want to try this at home um, in your notebook, that would be a great idea. It's a little bit of a cha more challenging question, but I think you'll be able to figure it out. It says find the measure of angle Y this angle right here, in a pentagon, um, TVYMR, at the right, use um, our n minus 2 times 100, 180, and then um, you want to write an equation to solve for that. So try and find, um, try to figure out this problem. It's a really good problem, and you will have um, examples like this tomorrow in the work you're doing. All right? All right, and the last um, theorem we're going to be going over today is the polygon angle um, sum theorem that states uh, the sum of one set of exterior angles for any polygon is 360 degrees. So basically what this is saying is if we were to take angle 1, angle 2, angle 3, angle 4, and angle 5 and add them together, they would in fact equal 360. And this is on any polygon. All right. Um, and this is called the polygon exterior angle sum theorem. I made a typo, so just for your information. Okay. Um, so we can use this theorem when solving, um, if we need to know, if we know one um, of the, if we need to figure out what the different um, angle measurements for the exterior angles are in this particular polygon, we can do that because we know that they will, in fact, equal 360. All right. All right, that's all I have for you today. Um, if you have any questions, please bring them tomorrow.